In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics of Final Cut. In Final Cut Express, there's a number of different windows or panels. We have the browser. The browser contains a couple of tabs. In the video tab, we have a sequence. A sequence, and that's created automatically, a sequence is the arrangement of clips and media in the timeline. So a project can have multiple sequences or it could have one sequence. You can have multiple sequences open in the timeline and we would see additional tabs if that were the case. To open a sequence, if it's not already open, you would simply double click on it and you can see this sequence is called sequence one. And it's already open in the timeline. I'm going to change this to my video project. So it's certainly appropriate to change the name of the sequence and again you can see that that is reflected down in the tab in the timeline. So our browser will contain all of our different media and we can help arrange or organize that using what's called bins. So I'm going to go ahead, I did a right click, I'm going to go to new bin. Bins again are going to help organize our content. So maybe I have a bin that's going to be for all of my photos. Maybe I have another bin that's going to contain my audio. Maybe another for some titles and so on. Maybe even if I have multiple sequences I could have a bin just for sequences. In this case I'm going to leave it in the browser just as it is. and I can arrange these however I want. I'm going to go ahead and import some elements into my photos bin. So I'm going to simply double click on it. That opens up this new bin. And I'm going to import in some images that are located on my desktop and in my media files folder. And I have a number of different ones. And I can select whatever ones I want. I could select all of them. I could even select them as a folder. All right. And I can change the way that these are viewed depending upon what I'm doing and how many I have and what's more convenient for me. I have a number of other controls as well. I can also, if it's more convenient, take this tab and put it up into the browser so that in a sense it's always open. It's just a matter of me clicking on the right tab to see what is in there. I can also control how they are displayed using my different icons up at the top. All right, and I would do the same for any audio that I was going to bring in and any titles that I had pre-made. Pre so my browser will contain all of my media elements along with my sequence. The timeline is the place where we're going to organize those elements. We have video tracks and we have audio tracks. The video tracks, we look from the top down. So if we have any clips that are on top of one another, unless there's some transparency or masking, we will not see what's below it. And then we have a number of audio tracks. And we can add many more video tracks if we wanted to, many more audio tracks. More about that later. Up at the top we have two different windows. One is the viewer, and this is where we normally look at source material, material that is in our browser. And then we have the canvas. The canvas, and let me just change this to 50% so we can pretty much see the whole thing. The canvas reflects the timeline. So if I, let me actually do that, let me go ahead and put one of the still images down here. And you can see then that my timeline is showing this clip in the canvas. I could also, if I were doing some editing, I could also have a clip in my viewer so that I can do the necessary editing. And usually with still images that doesn't involve too much. But with, certainly with video we might be doing some trimming uh, either off the leading end or the trailing end. Sometimes these two will appear to be the same. For example, if I'm doing some editing it appears that these are both the same. But realize what I'm doing here is viewing the source material that came from the browser or from the timeline. But here I'm looking at the result of the timeline. So if I had transitions and other effects and overlaying clips, I would see them here. Alright, so that's the main windows that are in Final Cut Express. We have the browser, the timeline, the viewer, and the canvas. That concludes this tutorial.